SED stands for Students for the Exploration and Development of Space. It's an amalgamation, really a community of hundreds of students across the nation, across the world actually. There's a, a UK SEDS and an India SEDS and a Canada SEDS. Um, and it's basically this community of people who are all incredibly passionate about one thing and that's space exploration and development. Um, whether that be from a terrestrial standpoint of how we can use space to protect the earth, whether that be from a colonization perspective, regardless of your motivation, everyone just you know, loves space and it's the shared passion that brings us all together. And the reason why I've chosen to dedicate my life to SEDS over the past year and for the foreseeable future is that I think that students are the future and I think that space is the future, uh, which gives kind of a double fold meaning to students for the exploration and development of space. Right. I believe that this community is currently filled with the future of humanity. And you know, that sounds like such a ridiculous, large, grandiose statement, but it's true. Objectively, if you believe that space exploration is the future and you acknowledge the fact that students are the future, this organization is, you know, building the future for humans on Earth and off of it. The satellite competition is actually one of my favorite parts of SEDS, um, which I don't think I've told you before. Uh, the reason why I think the satellite competition is so important for SEDS and why I think it's important for our future um, is that it, it allows students to work technically, but also with just the knowledge that they have at their fingertips, right? There are a lot of boundaries to some chapters for participating in projects. You know, you have chapters like UC San Diego who can 3D print an engine for a cube satellite that will genuinely orbit the moon. But then you have chapters who don't have access to research like that. And the satellite competition allows students to do a technical project without having those kinds of funds, which makes space more open for everyone, um, which I just think is absolutely incredible. The, the idea that people, you know, with essentially nothing but books can have the chance to compete and innovate. And, that, and that's what the satellite competition offers to set students. Uh, well, I'm a double major in astrophysics and theater studies. I don't know where that'll take me. Um, I believe I was, you know, I was having this conversation earlier. When you pick a career, there are three things that you have to think about. You know, what are you good at? What do you love to do? And what does the world need from you? And I'm fortunate to have a diverse skill set, and I love a lot of things, and I'm passionate about a lot of things, especially space exploration. But the question is, what does that industry need from me? And I think that I will find that out a lot more over the next couple of years. Uh,